Hello, and a very warm welcome to Hyundai's new Virtual Experience Center, and this event celebrating the extraordinary Ionic 5 arriving in the UK. As many of you will know, Ionic 5 is our brand new electric car, revealed in February, and it's already making a big impact on customers and the press alike. It's already won Auto Express's Car of the Year Award for 2021. I'm sure many of you feel you know this car already, and we want to use this event to show you all the different ways you can experience it, virtually and in the metal, and give you exclusive insights into the views of the UK's leading opinion formers. If you don't know too much about Ionic 5 yet, don't worry, because we'll be sharing an overview of the key features using our new virtual walk-around technology. We'll also explain how you can explore this virtual experience center for yourself. Ionic 5 is just one of the Hyundai models ready and waiting for you in this virtual space. After this event, please feel free to roam around this new online world and see what you can find. At Hyundai, we've been committed to alternative energy sources and electric vehicles for a long time. Ionic 5 joins an already strong lineup of EVs that include Kona Electric, current Ionic Electric, and not forgetting Nexo, our hydrogen fuel cell model. As many of you will know, Ionic 5 is the first model to sit under our new Ionic sub-brand, dedicated to our new battery electric vehicles. We're so excited about what's to come for this sub-brand, and we wanted to take this opportunity to celebrate the arrival of this first amazing new car. Let's take a look at the journey so far. have named it best mid-size company car, best premium electric car. Our readers have voted it the design of the year for 2021, plus the overall car of the year. It truly is a well-deserved Auto Express car of the year for 2021. The design of Ionic 5 plays homage to Hyundai's past while also pushing new boundaries of design for the future. We gave Robert Llewellyn the opportunity to ask one of the design team to share their story before Robert took his own tour of the car. I'm going to take you on my own tour of Ionic 5 shortly, but first I spoke to Simon Lowsby, head of the Hyundai Styling Group, and asked him to explain the inspiration behind this extraordinary car. So Sam, can you tell me why you wanted to pay tribute to the 1974 Hyundai Pony Coupe in the design of the Ionic 5? Yeah, I think it, it's important to note that that's part of our story and it's part of the story behind Ionic 5. And, and it's, it's our genes, it's our, our history, it's, it's our start point actually for the company. We, you know, certain manufacturers have a car which is key to them and we have the pony and that's, that's part of our whole genes and our beginnings, if you like. And so part of the story is about celebrating that and you know, we're not such a young company anymore. People think of us as quite young, but in the current context, we have quite a bit of history and that's where it started, 1974. So the really exciting thing about this car, then you take away all the constraints that you have when you build an ICE car, engine, gearbox, transmission, all those things, you can remove them. Does that really kind of liberate the way you can come up with a, a design of the car? Well, yeah, it, it, precisely that. Uh, the, as the car, project started the the challenge for us as a company was say what, what does this flexibility give us and so in terms of the overall proportion the car sits so well on its wheels because we could really push the wheels out to each corner with an electric platform um, and the main reason for doing that is to liberate interior space to really give the living space the the the, the dominance if you like and then so we're stretching the body around the maximum space we could achieve um, because the mechanical components are moved into a different orientation than previously. And so the large wheel size, the OD of the tires, the, the huge interior space when you sit inside the car, and the wheelbase of this car is longer than our, our biggest SUV at the moment. So even though it's a CUV, 
um, it's actually got the biggest interior space um, compared to a lot of our other cars. I mean, what do you think then is going to make the Ionic 5 really stand out on the, on the roads of the UK? When I see it on the roads over here in, in South Korea, where I am at the moment and where I live and work, it, it just is so unique. The, the, the overall way it sits on the road, the proportion of the car, the unique design identity that it has, and it, it's memorable when you see it during the day and it's memorable when you see it at night. And that, that's always part of our goal is to make sure if somebody can go away and talk about it and say, it's the car that does this or the car that does that. And I remember it because. And so that's what our teams really focused on in this car to make not only incredibly high quality and, new, and solid, but also a very unique statement. There's nothing like anything else. So Simon, when you sat down to draw the Ionic 5 for the first few times, what, what design features were you thinking about most? Well, the first thing is, is we look at is the typology, as we say, is the, is the silhouette, the speed of the silhouette, the dynamic in the silhouette and, and, and the roof line, which is, which is actually quite flat compared to a lot of cars these days, quite a length to it. And because the cabin is so big, getting the proportion right of that silhouette on the wheels and getting the wheels in the right place. Uh, and that, that's, that's the first fundamental, making sure that the, the design, so not only the style, but you're integrating those package elements with a silhouette, which is dynamic, is aerodynamic as well, and is also pretty unique. Then you start building up the layer of the, the window graphic, the strength of the, of the D-pillar, which sort of somehow is echoes of our pony D-pillar. And of course, it's all sitting on these large diameter wheels which have a super parametric design but that those are getting those proportions right of those that the first thing is the proportion and the silhouette and then we start looking at the architecture and the structure of how the surfaces are built and what design features do you think are really the most unique about the ionic 5 you know everybody will remember the minecraft like lights we call it the pixel design language the pixel lights um, unique to our EVs, you you will have seen those pixel lights in the in the show car, what we call the 45 concept in 2019 in Frankfurt. That pixel is our design language of our lighting, and that is like the spice which will connect all of our EVs and indeed the next EVs too. Um, and that has an interesting story as well. Uh, you know, living and working in Korea, we I, I look around me all the time at what what is Korea all about? What is you say Koreanness? If you look at the language, look at Hangul, the Korean language, which looks like a script to Western eye, but it's actually a set of letters uh, which assemble into words the same way we do. One of those letters is called Myum, which is a pixel. Uh, and, and for me, that, that the pixel language, not only is it like an analog sentiment from the 70s when the first pony was there, the first digital was coming along then, the first pixels, who doesn't forget those, who can't forget those first computer games, but also if you go back to 1462 when King Sejong here designed Hangul, um, he, he, he had a pixel in the language. It's one of the few languages worldwide with a square. And so you could argue our design language of our most modern electric vehicles started in 1462. And do you think the automotive world is ready for the Ionic 5? Well, I think the, the feedback we're already getting has been so incredibly positive. Uh, and it, it just looks like nothing else. It looks very, very futuristic, but somehow it's also familiar. And so it, it's got a really nice balance. And, and then it's, it, in that balance, it's also very memorable. People will go away and talk about the details and talk about what they remember about the car not only on a visual level, on a, on a customer experience level and the, the feature content and how usable it is and how nice it is in, in how it looks after your lifestyle rather than you know, just, just the design itself visually. So it's got a whole load of layers which really impresses me on the car. What our teams in the R&D department, in the, in the interface team, with the UX team, what we've delivered, got a sort of high density car um, with so much on offer. Oh, well, I mean, I, I have to say, having driven it for, I think, an hour, I really was just blown away. I was really, really impressed with it. So thank you so much, Simon, for taking time to talk to us today. And it's, I think it's an amazing achievement what you've done. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, I did watch some of your YouTube stuff already to see your thoughts, and I was super excited hearing, seeing your excitement driving the car. And uh, when you were charging another car, 
uh, Kona in the in front of the farm in the secret location. <laughs> For me, I mean that that you you sum up some of the topics. Uh, not only that, you can plug in a you know, your hair dryer or coffee machine inside the car um, just with a normal plug. Um, this kind of level of user support is just great. And then uh, one thing you didn't mention, I think, is that the end of the the instrument cluster. There's a little magnet wall, like a fridge magnet wall, for your notes and your comments and. It's all those little touches which have been so such fun to develop and our teams to ask each other, well, why not? <laughs> why can't we do this? And wouldn't we like to have that? And I've had a number of people message me and say, why has nobody else done that? And I guess because we asked, why not? And uh, yeah, we're happy with your reaction and we hopefully we get lots more reaction like that from other people. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Simon. I have to say, I think this car looks incredible. It's an amazing looking machine, one of the most gorgeous cars I've seen this year. Let me give you an overview of some of the features on Ionic 5, which show why Hyundai is so keen to celebrate its arrival. From the moment you look at Ionic 5's iconic pixel signature design cues in the unique headlights, what Hyundai calls parametric design, where computers help to break the rules of what a car might look like, this car really is striking. It's almost minimalist in appearance, characterized by sleek and sharp lines. A hatchback on steroids, it just looks different. From the side, you start to understand how it's been possible. Built on Hyundai's new and dedicated electric global modular platform called EGMP, the car has a really long wheelbase, some three meters, with short front and rear overhangs. Now this new platform has enabled Hyundai to place the wheels at each corner so it looks sporty on the outside and there's plenty of room on the inside. I just love the styling. Flush door handles help to keep the shape pure. They pop open with the press of the door or the click of the smart key. There are 20 inch fractal design diamond cut alloy wheels on the top level trim, which give it a great stance as well as improved aerodynamics. And those parametric lines continue down the side, creating a sporty shape as the front meets the rear. At the rear, the 45 degree C pillar, the short hood line and the rear spoiler all add to Ionic 5's sporty feel. The charging port door is on the right hand side. It's neatly hidden and doesn't interrupt the overall look and lines of the car. While we're at the rear, let's look at the boot space. It is impressive. Ionic 5 has a large cargo space with 527 litres available, increasing to 1,587 litres when the second row seats are fully folded. I'd say that's a pretty roomy boot. For added versatility, the second row seats can slide forward up to 135 millimetres and can also be folded in a 60-40 ratio. There's also additional storage space at the front. I call it the frunk with an extra 57 litres of capacity available in the two-wheel drive. That's about enough for a good-sized cabin bag. All of this means that there's plenty of room for all of life's kit, from golf clubs to luggage, prams, sports gear, shopping and charging cables. This car really does have the spaciousness of a large passenger car in a mid-sized CUV. Inside, the sense of space continues. The completely flat floor makes it feel open with plenty of legroom. The rear seats slide forward and back so passengers can get themselves comfortable or create more space in the boot. On the ultimate trim with Tech Pack, these are powered. This Tech Pack also gives you relaxation seats in the front row should you need to take a break on long journeys. I'm not sure I've come across a feature like this before. The Universal Island, standard on top of the range Ultimate, is a movable center console, offering maximum flexibility in the interior layout. You can move it backwards so there's no obstacles between the driver and the front. It's completely unlike a conventional car interior and more like a smart living space. You can set up what is effectively your driving room to suit your needs. One thing you do expect when you're at home is connectivity, and with Ionic 5, that's no different on the move. This car is packed with high-tech features. 
all driving information systems are integrated into one sleek dashboard. Within that, there are two high-tech digital displays, a 12.3-inch digital instrument panel and another 12.3-inch touchscreen navigation system. It's like being in a spaceship in there. There's a column-mounted shift-by-wire switch offering a quick, intuitive and safe way to put the car into drive, neutral, park and reverse. Bluetooth multi-connection features enable multiple devices to be connected at any one time, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the range. Every model comes with the latest version of BlueLink Connected Car Services, which enables you to control many aspects of the car with the smartphone. A lot of thought has also gone into creating an interior that appeals to the senses. Ambient lighting is standard, with 64 colour nuances. On the Ultimate trim, there's a Bose Premium sound system, featuring seven speakers plus a subwoofer. It sounds fantastic! And the materials used throughout the interior feel good to touch, and eco-friendly materials are used throughout the cabin. From the inside door panels made of 100% recyclable material, to the seats using recycled yarns, to the carpets containing sugarcane, and even the paint using rapeseed to replace petroleum-based additives. Who knew? It all adds up to be more comfortable and inviting, reflecting Hyundai's commitment to sustainable motoring. As you'd expect from Hyundai, Ionic 5 is stacked with safety features too. This car is packed with many of what Hyundai call smart sense safety features, which you're already familiar with. But for the first time in Hyundai, ultimate versions of Ionic 5 feature an augmented reality heads-up display, effectively turning the windscreen into a giant display screen. The system provides driver assist information and safety-related warnings in either AR or normal mode, based on your preference. So what is Ionic 5 like to live with day to day? The key to that answer is its next generation powertrains and its incredible charging and range capabilities. Ionic 5 is Hyundai's first uniquely battery electric vehicle. It will only ever be a BEV. There are two battery pack options to suit the needs of every customer. There's a standard range battery with 58 kilowatt hours and a long range battery with 73 kilowatt hours. Ionic 5 is the first mainstream car in the world to be fitted with an onboard 800 volt charger. This means charging is very fast. It can go from 10 to 80% charge in just 18 minutes. Even just five minutes, you can get enough charge for another 60 miles of range. And because Ionic 5 supports both 400 volt and 800 volt charging standards without needing any special adapters, your waiting time at charging stations is likely to be reduced. In fact, when it comes to charging, there are multiple options with Ionic 5. You can use from 50 kilowatt rapid chargers up to 350 kilowatt superchargers when you're out and about. And when you're at home, you can connect to a wall box giving you a full charge in just over seven hours. Or for emergency use, the in-cable control box, otherwise known as a granny cable, which will trickle charge your car when visiting places with no charging points. And both a three pin plug and a type two connector are supplied with the car. All this talk of powering up, there's another unique feature of Ionic 5 which is very cool and enables you to power anything from a kettle to a laptop to recharging another electric vehicle. Because this car is able to be used as a power source itself. Ionic 5's unique vehicle to load feature enables the use of general household appliances inside and outside the vehicle. Vehicle to Load, or V2L, basically turns Ionic 5's battery into a huge portable power bank. So while you recharge your batteries, Ionic 5 can power whatever you need it to. I don't know any other car that allows you to take power off the battery so easily. It's a brilliant feature. How does all this talk of power translate to on-road performance? The 73 kilowatt hour two wheel drive has a respectable 0 to 62 miles an hour acceleration time of 7.4 seconds. 
If you want range and an impressive sprint, then the 73 kilowatt hour all-wheel drive is the one for you. It takes just 5.2 seconds to shift the dial from zero to 62 miles an hour. As we all know, driving performance is about more than speed and acceleration. You may need your car to have pulling power too. The larger battery Ionic 5 has a braked towing capacity of 1,600 kilograms. And when you're using trailer mode, the car takes into account the weight of the load and recalculates the electric range accordingly. So Ionic 5 has the convenience features, the super fast charging, the range and the performance to take you places in comfort and with confidence. It really is impressive stuff. So what is Ionic 5 like to drive? Well, I'm lucky enough to have had a sneaky spin already. But what do others think? The UK press recently had their first opportunity to put Ionic 5 to the test and experience it for themselves. Here's an exclusive look at what they thought. Well, my first impressions were, what a fantastic looking car it is, really. It's the first time I've seen one today in, in the metal. It doesn't seem to fit into a box very easily. You sort of look at it and wonder, what well, is it a hatchback or is it a saloon or might it be some sort of crossover SUV? It doesn't seem to matter. It's just a good looking car. Well, I, think, I, I quite like that about it. It's just such a sort of striking design, isn't it? It's, it's a real sort of striking, standout kind of looking car. And uh, I think for that reason, it's just gonna kind of really make a big impact. The first impression was striking. The interior, definitely premium quality. Also, a very refined car to drive, very, very quiet. Normally, I put some music on when I'm driving, but it was actually quite nice to listen to the sound of silence. Um, I think that the Ionic 5 will probably have quite a big impact on the EV market because it's already garnered a lot of attention in terms of the range it can offer, sort of, you know, the cost of it, and more than that, the sort of premium aspect. I think it is going to really appeal to kind of a new audience. I think the impact of any given electric vehicle uh, now is, uh, is not as significant as it would have been a few years ago because there are now so many, there's so much choice. So essentially it will have to uh, stand or fall on its own merits, but that's fine because it, it has many merits. People are ready for sort of alternative premium brands and, and cars positioned like this. Um, I think people have uh, probably had, you know, conventional German premium cars over the years and they're ready to try something new and, and this is clearly something new. People will see it as fresh um, and, and unusual to an extent because it's so hard to categorise but it's also clearly a, a premium product, it's clearly a, a, you know, a, a car that appeals in all kinds of ways and that you would consider paying a premium for. Customers will see that Hyundai is uh, a more strongly design-driven um, company. Um, it has actually been like that for a while, but it, 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 its most prominent cars haven't been um, so progressive. For me, it was actually when I sat in the car. I mean, obviously the exterior design is, is you know, the real kind of standout point, I think, of the car, but actually the interior design is, I think, what makes it feel most different to other EVs, the way of all the horizontal lines, very smooth surfaces. It's got a real kind of interesting, very kind of sort of classless, high-tech feel inside. And I think actually that's the thing that's really made most impact on me. I think actually people who are reasonably early adopters into EV probably want something that looks striking. Um, but, you know, I think it, it, it drives well, real-world range, so I think, it will, uh, I think it will do well. It's got a really sort of high-end, classy, like I said, sort of a boutique kind of hotel feel to the interior, to the styling, and uh, I think that will have a big effect on how people view Hyundai as a brand. I mean, they've been kind of going up and up and up in people's estimation for years, and this is another one of those kind of big leaps forward, isn't it? They'll also look at the thing and, and suddenly realise that the brand that they've known for 10, 20 years is capable of making really appealing, desirable cars. Very lovely to drive, yeah. So I really like the way electric cars drive anyway. You get that sort of seamless kind of flow of performance, the acceleration. I really like the fact that you've got good control over the brake regen in the Ionic 5 as well, with the uh, paddles on the steering wheel and the sort of auto settings and this kind of thing. So it's really very nice to drive, whether you're you know, on a good country road or just kind of pottering around town, really. Well, where we, where we were today, we had a, a 
a good mixture of roads. So uh, rural roads, which were quite actually quite bumpy, um, a bit of town driving, and a bit of motorway driving, and the car, the way the car is designed and, and engineered, the way it's set up, actually worked very well in all those conditions. So uh, yeah, I had a good drive today. It's a really nicely balanced car. It's quite distinctive. It's not really like a Tesla. Um, or even like a Polestar, it's much more sort of classically luxurious than that. Um, but I think people will like it. We are absolutely delighted that the UK press have given this car such an enthusiastic welcome. It's just fantastic that they share our excitement about Ionic 5 and the future of Hyundai. Now, a future-facing car needs a future-facing user experience. That's why we wanted to give you a whole range of different ways to see, try, touch and drive Ionic 5 as possible. This new virtual experience centre is just one way that we're using technology and innovation to bring Ionic 5 to your door. Here's a quick tour of this brand new digital space. Welcome to the Virtual Experience Center, a groundbreaking platform enabling you to engage with Hyundai in an entirely new way. Explore our story, see the latest products, get a private one-to-one -one remote tour. Find out how seamless making the switch to EV can be. Register to attend our events and more. Move through space just as if you are visiting in real life or use the navigation bar to move ahead to the next room and covering new content along the way. Questions? Just click on Dial E in any room. They will connect to a real person at Hyundai in under 10 seconds. With the doors always open, you can access the center day or night. We look forward to welcoming you soon, anytime from anywhere. The Hyundai Virtual Experience Center. Another way you'll be able to experience Ionic 5, in fact all Hyundai cars eventually, is our new live showroom. Let's pay a visit to find out more. Hello and welcome to the live showroom. I'm Carly Phillips and I'm one of the team on standby and ready to give you your personal tour of Ionic 5. The live showroom is a fantastic opportunity for you to familiarise yourself with the car at close quarters or without leaving your home. When you book your session, you'll join me or one of the team on a one-to-one, -one, just the two of us in real time. I'll answer any questions you have there and then, I'll pick up on any details you'd like to know more about, and I will use the camera to get up close to any details you'd like to see. It's an exclusive session just for you, and a fantastic opportunity for you to get under the skin of the car before you try it for yourself on a test drive. All you need to do is go to our website or visit the Virtual Experience Centre to book. We look forward to seeing you there. The live showroom will be available shortly. All you need to do to book is visit our website or this Virtual Experience Centre. Go to Live Showroom and follow the instructions on screen. Of course, nothing beats opening the car door for yourself, taking your place in the driver's seat pressing that start button and giving Ionic 5 a go for yourselves. Life may have changed dramatically for all of us in recent years, but when you visit your local Hyundai dealer to try this car, you can take all the time you need. See it in the metal. Experience all its incredible features. Take it out on the open road. You can book a test drive through the Virtual Experience Center, navigate your way around this online hub to click to book and just enter your details. You'll get confirmation of your booking and reminders of your appointment. Of course, you can also still simply call or email your local dealer to, or just pop in. We know opportunities to drive Ionic 5 will be in high demand, so do get booking while you can. That brings us to the end of this virtual event celebrating Ionic 5's arrival. If you'd like to watch it again, it will be available in the Virtual Experience Center Auditorium to view in your own time. You can also stay here and explore online for as long as you want to. 
Don't forget, for any other information, check out our website or contact your local Hyundai dealership. Thank you for joining us to celebrate Ionic 5.